Hi, my name is Sébastien Gagnon. I'm the founder of Brasserie de Nam. Um, the brewery was found in uh, 2011. And uh, I'm also the founder of uh, Vice Versa in Montreal, which is the, uh, the first beer bar in Montreal, uh, established since uh, 2004. Sorry for my, for my English, it's not my first language. Uh, I start uh, when I opened the, the pub in Montreal. I was uh, 33 years old. Um, I was uh, working on, um, I was traveling before, in the, especially in the United States, and, to, and I just realized that there's a lot of uh, craft beer bar uh, back in the days in the, in the United States. At that point in Quebec, at the, in Quebec, the beer scene was just so young and uh, so small. But we just decided to promote the um, excellence of a uh, Quebec beer scene. At that point, it was tough to find good, be good beer and good brewery. But since that time, since almost 15 years, this Quebec beer scene has just expanded a lot. Um, one of the reasons why uh, today the Quebec beer scene is what it is, uh, it's not to compare with Belgium, uh, with uh, England, with uh, German, it's very young in Quebec. So we don't have any parading in uh, brewing uh, history. So we just get your, our inspiration from other uh, worldwide beer scene in the world. Just mix it together and try to develop some creative style in Quebec. It's, it's a resume, but it, I think it's a uh, it's a good way to imagine the Quebec beer scenes. So, um, and in the Rams since 2011, uh, it was impossible at the beginning to brew in Montreal because we don't have any uh, lot of space and the uh, commercial uh, local was so expensive. So we decided to move um, an hour and a half south from Montreal. It's very close to the Vermont border. Uh, we're about five minutes from Vermont. Uh, in a small village called Dunham. At the beginning, we were uh, looking for a name for the brewery, and it was a nightmare. It's like, okay, maybe it could be just the name of the city, the small village, and it's, that's why Brasserie Dunham. Here we are, small brewery in Quebec. We brewed about 4,500 hectoliters, and we don't want to be bigger than that. The, uh, the target is somewhere in between 5,000 and 6,000 hecto. Um, it's a choice because uh, to me, I'm a, I'm a beer lover since a lot of years. But at the beginning, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a manager who loves what I'm doing. So I'm not, uh, I'm not a businessman who will manage a big shop. Uh, I don't care about that. So I love uh, the, um, the liberty that we have to be independent and to be, you know, um, in French, we said maître chez nous. So that's why we just want to um, just want to be independent and you know don't make our choice. Um, sorry, uh, according to uh, the market, what the market wants. So we brew the beer that we love to drink, especially. And we we working a lot with the um, we have a barrel aging program in uh, in Dunham. And uh, in Dunham, in Quebec, there's a lot of winery and cider maker very close to the brewery. So we have the chance to work uh, with those guys, especially with uh, in a, a beer series called Viti Vini Vici, which is a mixed fermentation with, uh, with peels, the, uh, the, the peels the, uh, of the grape. And uh, we do love wine at the beginning and that's why we do a lot of saison, barrel aged saison, mixed fermentation and uh, that's, the main, that's the, the main point. One of my business partner and it's also a friend of mine called Elwa Date was brewing uh, in Montreal during um, almost 14 years uh, at a place called Le Cheval Blanc which is the first brew pub in Montreal. They got the license uh, number one. So. Uh, he brewed a lot, a lot, experimented a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And uh, he uh, joined me at the brewery in uh, 2012. And since that time, we just became very good friends. We got the same philosophy to, to get, okay, we will try a bunch of style, a bunch of uh, 
whatever. And without, you know, the only thing, it's the quality. The rest, it's not important, you know? That's the thinking since, since the beginning. And that's why, uh, I guess, since that time, the brewery just ex expand a lot and uh, just we traveling a lot around the world. But we decided to, so we are not, you know, we choose the market that we want to, for example, the Belgium, uh, Bel uh, here in Bel Belgium. It's kind of a, we have a lot of uh, friends and we do love this beer scene. We, uh, we have uh, Jean from the, the Mouda Lambic and Jean from Cantillon also. And we became friends. And uh, it's like, it's, uh, it's just an honor and a pleasure for us to come here. So, as I said, we can sell all and more of our production locally, but we just keep a part of it to just get a chance to traveling and uh, meet some other brewers from around the world, tasting the best beer in the world, and just, you know, okay, benchmark ourselves with what's, what's the, beer, the best beer in the world. So, Are you still having fun? Yes, I'm still having fun. Yeah. And so Quebec has come a long way since the days of Redor and of Fufon Electric. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's another world. So, and what would you say is your favorite brewers that are coming out of Quebec or say Ontario, or Canada? To me, uh, one of my favorite brewery in, uh, in Quebec, it's uh, it's still uh, Dieu du Ciel. Uh, those guys are uh, are there since a long time with a very good philosophy. Uh, they just, you know, keep the trail and uh, it, they helped me a lot at the beginning and the vice versa. And uh, one day, back in the days, I asked King Stefan, one of the founders, uh, is it a problem if we open a bar, a beer bar, just maybe 15 minutes walking from your place? He said, no. In fact, it's a good news. More people will be interested by the craft beer and every craft brewer will, will be, you know, it, it, it's going to be a good a good idea and a, and a good news for the, the craft beer industry. And today, we are, where we are located in Montreal, there's a bunch of a brew pub, beer bar, and it's since that time, our sales just continue to growing because it's kind of a destination. And people, okay, come at our place and come at Hildegarde, come at uh, many places wa at a walking distance. And, and it's a very good place to discover uh, different style of beer, different kind of brewery, and this is this philosophy. But that's why Zudiciela, if uh, it's a kind of brewery who evaluated slowly but surely, and it's still still always good. And uh, it's one of my favorite uh, brewery. And for the brew pub, because there, there's a difference in Quebec bit, between a brew pub and a microbrew, and uh, Ile de Garde very close, the vice versa in Montreal. It's like super delicate pills. Uh, Super nice guy, nice guys also. Sorry, and uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite. And in the rest of Canada, uh, I love uh, Bellwoods Brewery. 